There are many types of addictions out there. We have chemical addictions like alcohol, nicotine, opioids, and then we have behavioral addictions like gambling, food, shopping, and social media. One of the addictions that isn't properly studied and dealt with in today's society is the addiction of speaking gossip, simply the need people feel to talk about other people. There are those who even turned other people's business into a for-profit business with websites, magazines, and designated newspaper pages just to talk about other people's private lives. For a Jew, this is a big no-no. It's called Loshon Hora, evil talk. In this week's parsha, we read about this type of addict and his rehabilitation process called Saras. Saras was a discoloration that would appear either on the wall of the addict's home or his clothing or his actual skin. If you got the message to stop speaking Loshon Hora after you saw the Saras on your home, great. If this didn't stop you, and you continued with your evil talk, then God sent Saras onto your clothing. If even this didn't stop you, then a blotch of discolored skin would form on your person. The discoloration had to be examined by a Kohen to determine whether it was actually Saras. At first, the wall or article of clothing or person needed to be isolated for a week. No one was permitted to get within six feet the person had to be sent outside of the Jewish camp and placed into solitary confinement. Then, after seven days, if it was confirmed by the Kohen that we indeed had a case of Tzeras, then the wall had to be demolished, or the clothing burned, or the person had to spend another seven days in isolation outside of the Jewish camp. This process was designed to allow the person to understand the harm he is causing in his home, community, and society by speaking gossip. Instead of allowing for him to continue driving wedges between people, we remove him from society, where he feels the pains of loneliness, and now he will certainly return to his community and home, understanding the importance of giving people their own space to live without being judged and spoken about. One of the most interesting ideas that the commentaries pick up on is the person who determines whether it's Tsaras or not, the Kohen, the priest. Only a priest can do it. But why? Seemingly, if you are in doubt, if you're showing signs of an illness, for example, COVID-19, you go to or you call the doctor. He or she is the expert in the field. And he or she will be the one to give you advice and inform you on how to proceed. It's irrelevant what family or tribe the doctor comes from, as long as they know their stuff. Similarly here, if you think you have symptoms of tzaras, you should go to the rabbinic expert. He studies these laws. He will be the one best suited to tell you how to proceed. Why do we care what family and tribe he is from? We don't find anywhere else in Judaism that if you have a question on what to do or what not to do, that you specifically seek out a coin. This is the only case. But why? The Lubavitch Rebbe explained, the reason that only a Kohen can determine whether it is Tzaras is due to the priest's innate kindness and the severity of the rehabilitation process of Tzaras. Sending someone into quarantine for two weeks totally alone, not even allowed to be with other people that have the same Tzaras, should only be coming from a place of love. God wants us to be social and intermingle with other humans. God needs us to speak, work, study, and engage with other people in order for each of us to produce at our maximum capacity. Sending someone into isolation is removing from them the ability to live and impact the world the way we humans are intended to. We must be sure that the one making this determination has the best interest of the addict on his mind. We must be sure that this decision is not being made cold-bloodedly by a Torah scholar, but rather by a warm, friendly, and loving person, a Kohen. The Zohar teaches us that the soul of every priest comes from the chamber of chesed, kindness, and it is precisely for this reason that they were the ones entrusted with the task of making the final determination of any and every tzaras. 
When reading this week's double Torah portion of Tazriya Mitzora, one cannot help but see so many similarities to the times that we currently live in. Infection and quarantine are part of our everyday vocabulary. But let us remember to take a lesson from this week's Parsha and not be quick to judge others. Let us not talk negatively about others. And certainly, before we decide that someone else should be in isolation, we should make sure it's coming from a place of love and not, God forbid, a place of emotional anger or negativity. We need scholars and experts in all fields and subjects. They are the ones we are to look to for advice and information. But we also need experts who love us, who understand all of our personal needs, who sincerely want the best for us. They are the ones best suited to apply that advice to my practical life. Have a good Shabbos.